Good morning, everybody. It's the start of day 227. Um, I just left camp like 0.1 ago, and I wanted to show you this this morning. This is somebody's, a Southbounders, I presume, 100 mile marker, which means I only have 100 miles left till Katahdin. <laughs> um, I'm pretty excited, and I'm just like kind of reminiscing on how I felt when I hit 100 miles at Albert Mountain. Uh, it's crazy that was so, so long ago and so many things have happened and wow, I just, this is pretty cool. Also, it's really freaking cold. I'm trying to eat an apple, but my apple's kind of frozen. Uh, I think there was like a frost warning last night. It was like 37. Uh, I don't even know if you can hear any of this because the water's in the background, but it's so beautiful. Look at this nice little stream. We camped pretty much right next to it, just down a little further. And yeah, so it is the start of day 227. I don't know if I said that already. Um, there's a shelter at like 16 miles since I stopped a little short of the 15 mile shelter last night. And I'm gonna grab my trekking poles really quick. Um, and there's a shelter at like 21 miles, something like that. It's about 7.30 and I left the guys at camp just to get a little bit of a head start. They move faster than I do, one. And I'm really tired of hiking in the dark. I'm not a huge fan of night hiking, so it's a lot of elevation because we're going over the chairbacks today. Wow, it's so much quieter <laughs> right here. But um, yeah, so I don't really know how far I'm gonna make it. I'm just gonna kind of try and embrace the last little bit of trail that I have and um, yeah walk just walk <laughs> that's what we do out here right we get up every day we walk we eat we sleep we walk again <laughs> but as tired of as walk of time i'm tired of walking but at the same time it's been such a great experience it's been worth doing it <sighs> only have five more days of getting up and walking through the woods for the foreseeable future. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's get hiking. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. Have a good one. Wow, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I think I'm probably gonna sit and have a nice little second breakfast. Maybe another cup of coffee. Oh, shoot. I don't have regular water. Maybe I'll try and steal some from the guys when they get up here. Wow, this is incredible. It would have been nice to have a sunrise, but I'll take it. Look at all that. Ugh. Stunning. Look at this beautiful, oh my goodness. All oh, the colors, they're incredible. Woo, man. I should have downloaded that peak finder thing so I could find them on the tail. Made it to Barren Mountain. 
not too many views, but well, let's see what we got over here. Oh man, a little bit of the view I think we were looking at earlier. Pretty. Alrighty y'all, well it's finally starting to get a little bit warmer. I wasn't filming for a few minutes because it was so cold out here I didn't want to take off my gloves <coughs> to film and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, I hit uh, the top of Barren Mountain and wasn't really many views up there, but that's okay. There was a register in what used to be a fire tower and I just put in there how I've like cried so much this morning, which I have. Um, just like... I'm kind of like sad that it's almost over and also it was so beautiful out today and um, the views that I've already gotten and uh, yeah I, I put in there I'm just a ball of emotions which I am so um, yeah today I'm just kind of I feel like the past few weeks there's been so much pressure 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 to you know make it to Katahdin is the weather gonna be bad you gotta make it before it closes, and then there was the mix up with my flights, and just, it's been crazy, but all morning I've just been able to just walk. Just walk. Gosh, I think, I think I said that earlier in this video, but it's nice to just, I'm just gonna get how far I'm gonna get today, and uh, maybe that'll be a 20 mile day, maybe it'll be the 16 mile day, but. So far, I'm moving pretty good. Uh, I do get to hit the chair back, so since it's clear out, I'm hoping for some for some good views. Also, I've eaten all my snacks this morning already, so uh, I'm gonna, it's like not even, it might be 11 o'clock, I don't know. I'm gonna have an early lunch, I think, at the next view, and maybe find a water source and make some more coffee, just cause coffee sounds nice, and keep walking. All right, look how beautiful this is. Everything is so green and mossy. I definitely think uh, when I'm done with trail and I'm rested and recovered, I think I would probably come back and do the 100 mile again. It's just like so beautiful out here and Maine hiking in general. Although Southern Maine was hard, it's been, it's been really beautiful. So yeah, Whew. we're climbing up. I think it's fourth chair back mountain or something like that. <sighs> Bunch of roly-poly today. Um, I just sat and had like an hour long lunch. I ate the rest of my, oh, um, when it's cold outside, you can pack out like cheese and sandwich meat. So I had goat cheese with uh, roasted turkey sandwich meat and it was so good. But anyways, that's what I had for lunch. Sat there for a bit, had a cup of coffee and now I'm back to climbing again. Uh, Right now we're 15 miles away from that shelter that I was going to try and make it to, but who knows what will happen. Just going with the flow. <sighs> ah, there's some random trail magic. Um, part of me is like really grateful and the other part went into my head about Sleeping Beauty eating an apple in the middle of the woods. <laughs> At least the witch isn't giving it to me, I don't think. <laughs> really, thank you to whoever left the trail magic in the middle of 100 mile wilderness. Mm. <laughs> Y'all, I just walked by this one. 2100 miles is the last mile marker or 100 mile marker before Katahdin. That means only 93 more miles. We're doing it. Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> Alright y'all, so I am on top of Chairback's third mountain and I haven't been filming for the past few hours because um, unfortunately my friend Tripod messed up his knee. Uh, he um, has been pushing out, like this little thing has been popping out the side of his knee for the past probably a few weeks uh, since I've been hiking with all of them and um, today he just like stepped down. The wrong way and it like he couldn't straighten his leg all the way and walking was pretty difficult so um for those of you who think there's not a way out of the 100 mile wilderness there is you just have to uh 
do a little bit of research and that's a big step. <laughs> uh, he was able to um, get off trail. He had to walk a mile and a half, but there is the AMC um, lodge or something like that that was at the base of the third chairback mountain. So he's gonna go there and then get picked up by Shaw's Hiker Hostel tomorrow morning. And then hopefully by Monday, it'll feel good enough for him to finish the 100 mile wilderness and hike with us. Um, if not, he'll be there, take time off, summit Katahdin and walk back. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go here. Um, oh, there's Popeye and walk back after. Did you go around? What's happening? Ah, anyways, um, I don't know where I'm going. I've been on this trail for 2000 miles and I just can't figure it out apparently. But yeah, hopefully he'll rejoin us. Um, sending well wishes his way. This is gonna be like six months later that this comes out. So hopefully it's better by then. Um, and yeah, so now that kind of slowed down just a little bit and my game plan has changed. I'm only going another three miles to um, to a shelter up here on top of the chairbacks, and then uh, I'm gonna sleep here and try and do a big day tomorrow, 17 or 21 miles, it just depends. But that's what's been going on. This is the beautiful views I'm working with, and I had to walk around a bog. That's what, I guess they just rerouted it because it got a little too crazy. But this is the other side. And that's the box. <laughs> okay. Chairback third. Y'all, this is the third chairback summit. Ah, uh, the chairback, sorry, chairback third. <laughs> Summit, it's so beautiful. We thought we were only getting views the other direction, but look at this. Oh, wow. I gotta see if I can find Katahdin somewhere. Look how beautiful. Okay, Columbus Mountain. We're gonna hit the chair, the last chair bag mountain tomorrow. All right, y'all. Well, I made it 11.7 miles today, which is far less than I thought I was going to, but we had some run-ins and that happens. And I feel really bad for my friend uh, that had to get off trail. Um, hopefully he can rejoin us. That really freaking sucks. But um, I am stopping at this lean-to a little early so that I can get an earlier start on a big day tomorrow. And I'm really hoping that, um, that that's possible and that that happens. Right now I'm getting water at this unreliable water source but I got a little trickle in there so hopefully my bag will get full enough and uh, I'm gonna carry it. I had to come point one downhill like to the base on the AT to the base of this gap so I gotta go point one back up all those stairs but it's all right you do what you gotta do out here and I've only got a few more days of it. I was very emotional today like up and down and um, I can't decide how I'm actually feeling about the end of this. Like, I'm so done hiking. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. But, um, I'm also like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm all over the place. Lots of emotions. Um, yeah. So only f six more days after this, I think. Five? I don't know. Ah! Anyways, talk soon. Look at this beautiful fire that Popeye built. Popeye, you're awesome. It's lovely. Nine Lives and Toasty showed up, too. Oh, <laughs> we got roped into seeing here. We were supposed to hike, like, four more miles. <laughs> they saw a fire and couldn't resist. And they're fire and friends. And they're friends, friends. yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's end of day. 2.27. Hiked 11.7 miles. Everybody just got quiet. This is weird. Um, <laughs> 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 I don't know what's happening. My positive for the day is that we got to set up camp pretty early, have a nice fire, and just relax. It just is what it is, and it's been really nice. 
Um, that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more and we'll see you soon.